These videos are going to uh, help you with some of the application problems. I'm not going to be in class. You can check. Maybe you need a little extra help. Uh, this is with the half sheet of application questions. And so we're thinking about inequalities in the real world, which there are a lot of places that happen. So I, it's kind of hard to filter through, though. Uh, you need to look for some keywords. The acidity of the water in a swimming pool is considered normal if the average of three pH readings is between, that's important, between 7.2 and 7.8. And the word that follows is important. Inclusive. That means we're including 7.2 and 7.8. Also might look like this, 7.2. 7.8, everything in between there. And so it says the average of three of those readings. So an average is you add three numbers together and divide by three. So 7.4 plus 7.9 are my first two numbers, plus another number divided by three has to be in the range of 7.2 to 7.8. So it has to be greater than or equal to 7.2. And then it has to be less than or equal to 7.8. You can flip this whole thing over if you want, but essentially you come up with two little equations here that are two inequalities here that you can solve kind of tricky so I'm gonna add these two together and that's 15.3 so I have 7.8 greater than or equal 15.3 plus X over 3 that's one of my inequalities and then my 15.3 plus x over 3 is greater than or equal to 7.2. So you look at your two boundaries to set up your inequalities and you solve both of those. Remember, if you're solving this and you multiply by 3 to solve, that 3 cancels out. This 3 gets multiplied. Don't do both. Okay, so that will let you set it up. You can finish solving it. The force exerted on a spring is proportional to the distance the spring is stretched from its relaxed position. So this is a spring. When you stretch it, it shuts back, pulls back together. It says, suppose you stretch a spring a distance of D inches by applying a force of F pounds. Sounds complicated. But they give us D divided by F equals 0 0.8. You apply forces between 25 and 40 inclusive. So there's 25, there's 40, between there, inclusive. It says what inequality describes the distances the spring is stretched? So our answer is for our force is between, this is the force, the force is between and including 25 and 40. So that's the first thing you set up. So it's from 25 to 40. Now the other part about this is you have to solve for F in this equation. I think that's a little more than what we're going to do right now. Um, if you want to solve for F, you can multiply both sides by F and you have D equals 0.8 F and then divide by 0.8 and that would give you F in terms of D because we need to find the distances
So this actually, to finish solving, it would go here. But I think if you're understanding that right now, that's enough. Okay, we'll keep going. A sedentary 15-year-old male. That means you sit around and eat Cheetos. Should consume no more than 2,200 calories a day. So in a certain bag of Cheetos. Moderately active should consume between 2,400 and 28. And then an active 15-year-old should consume between 28 and 3,200. Model these ranges on a number line, represent each range of calories using interval notation. Okay, so I'm just gonna make one number line. And I know that we have 2200 all the way up to 3200. So I'm just gonna go 23, 24, 25, Might have run out of room. 29, 30. Uh, we're going to pretend 32 is right there. Okay. So if you are sedentary, sit around and eat Cheetos, your range is 2200. It says no more than 2200. So that's less than or equal to 2200. That's sedentary so it says use interval notation that would be negative infinity well actually it'd be zero because you can't consume negative infinity calories it'd be zero to 2200 then let's go to moderately active that that's 2400 it says between so it doesn't say inclusive so we're going to go between 2400 and 2800 that's moderate it's mod so 24 to 28 and then the last one is the active ones they get to have all the fun because they're active they can eat more 28 to 3200 so and again it says between so I'm thinking that's an open circle to an open circle so 28 to 32 now in this case it's not super picky and they're saying 2800 calories the difference between 2800 and 2801 is not really that big a deal the biggest thing is you understand where these all go as ranges Okay, we keep moving. This one is a doozy. Recommended heart rates during exercise vary with age and physical condition for a healthy person doing, I guess it's all about exercise. So there's an inequality they give you, 0.5, 220 minus A, less than or equal to R, Less than or equal to 0 0.9, 220 minus A. Now, you got A and R both in here. Don't get scared, okay? They're gonna give us something. So A is the age, R is the beats per minute. What is the target range for hearts for a person that is 15 years old? That is age. So all you have to do is plug in 15 for age. And it's basically already solved for you once you plug in 15. Because, again, there's not just one answer to this question because it's different for every age. And you just simplify. How old is a person whose target range is between 99 and 178? Now, this one's a little trickier. Okay, so I'll, I'll let you solve that. You can handle that, I think. Let me erase some stuff here. So they're trying to find the age now, and we know the range is between 99 and 
178.2. That's what that looks like. And the, I don't like their, their use of the word between is doesn't really, because between is not necessarily consistent there, but that's okay. So they're trying to figure out what is the age that would make that range. So if you look at what is the same about our two inequalities, well, we both have R in the middle. And out here, we could set those things equal to each other. Point 0.9 times 220 minus A equals 178.2, and you could solve that. Divide by point 0.9. I'm not going to do that without a calculator right now. That cancels out. Move 220. And you could do the same thing here, because this should be 99. Those should both give you the same value for A, and that's the age of the person. That's it. That's all we got for this show, kids.